Hey there, it's Rose. I quit my job today. I know, I know. You're probably thinking, Flower, what do you mean you quit your job? What are you thinking? In this economy? Do you want to end up where we found you? Friendless, brainless, unemployed. In Greenland! You're welcome, Princess Bride Stands. And in response to that, I would say, you have a very good point. I have been looking for another job since January of this year, and it is now the first week of May. So this was not an impulsive decision. It was very much premeditated. The timing was a little bit impulsive because I was planning to try and stick it out there a couple more weeks, even though I just found other work as of last week. But I literally got halfway through this week working this job and realized that I was being very stupid to keep working this job for literally one more day when a better option exists right now. So I quit that shit. <laughs> I resigned this morning. I actually had tried to resign the past several days I went to work, but something always happened that I just it made me, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Or like my boss wasn't there when I went to try and do it. So like, ugh. it was really intimidating to like have that confrontation with my boss and be like, thanks for everything, but also fuck you, I'm leaving. Sorry, but I'm actually not sorry because I'm leaving, obviously. Uh, <laughs> it was really scary to like quit a job. I've never quit a job before because I chose to, because I didn't want to be there anymore. I've only ever quit a job because I had to like go back to school or it was seasonal or something like that. Or I was forced to leave because the pandemic happened and my workplace shut down and I never went back. Ah, 2020. But I did it, it went really well. I'm really glad. I'm very relieved to be done with that position. It was just so, so, so stressful for both mind and body. Like it was giving me health issues. Like it's it's a very physically demanding job with very long hours and a very inconvenient schedule. And it just puts a lot of, a lot of stress on lots of different areas of my life. And the pay was all right, but it definitely was not worth the amount of wear and tear on my body and my psyche and the time and energy we had to put in. So I'm very happy to say I am moving on to greener pastures and it is done. It is finished, bitch. I'm a free woman. The hard part is over. I, I delivered the baby after years of painful labor, literally. The baby's out, she gone. But now I'm still dealing with the afterbirth, okay? Because there's still a bunch of like administrative crap I still have to do to transition from this job to the next one. It's messy, it's unpleasant. I just want it to be done, but it has to be done. It's gotta come out, okay? So I still kind of feel like I'm in limbo. I'm not unemployed, but like I'm not employed. Even though this is a very good thing and I'm very happy that this change is taking place, change is still uncomfortable and scary and tumultuous. And I just feel very like, unsettled. I'm having a lot of emotions and the past few work days leading up to this were very stressful and very long and very awful. So I need some self-care. I'm going to hashtag treat myself. I'm actually sitting in the parking lot of our community garden because I'm about to go water it. But after that, I'm going to go to the store and get some treats for myself. And I don't want to wait one more second. So without further ado, let the self-care commence. <laughs> Boy, do I have a haul. First up, we've got the Tonight Dough. This is my guilty pleasure and I never let myself have it because there is so much goddamn sugar. Oh my God, that's literally so depressing. I can't even look at it. 92, 92 grams of sugar. That's 184% of daily value. Oh my God. But you know what? I'm not gonna sugar shame myself today because it's a hashtag treat yourself, hashtag self care day. But Wait, there's more. I know you saw this in the montage already, okay? But let me explain. I wanted to get a cookie cake, a little personal mini cookie cake from the store today and write something sassy on it because that is one of my favorite all-time hobbies. Once I got a cookie cake for a Christmas party that said, happy birthday, Jesus. Sorry your 
party so lame. You're welcome, The Office fans. Once I got a cake that just said, F you, it was relevant to the occasion. Yes, the person actually wrote it for me. So anyway, today I wanted to do a cookie cake that just said bye, B-Y-E, because I quit my job today and said, <laughs> bye, it's appropriate for the occasion. But unfortunately, I got there too late and the bakery person place had already closed. So instead, I got one of the pre-made Cinco de Mayo cakes, scraped off the icing, and made a Cinco de Bayo cake. <laughs> Happy de Bayo! I make no claims to be a professional cookie cake artist, writer, person. It looks very messy, but it's still gonna be delicious. And of course, what's a bunch of sugar and dessert and crap without some wine? I had this wine for the first time on Valentine's Day and it was really good. It was especially good with like charcuterie. I had like Gouda cheese and prosciutto and some dark chocolate with it. An excellent pairing if I do say so. I don't think there is a proper appropriate wine to pair with pure, unadulterated, processed sugar. If you have any suggestions, tell me in the comments. So yeah, those are my hashtag treat yourself, hashtag self care noms. That's my entire haul. I got some cool treats. I'm going to take the rest of the evening and enjoy my treats, contemplate my newfound freedom a bit, and play a metric fuck ton of Fortnite with my friends. My ice cream's melting, so I'm gonna go. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.